Dimapur Police Commissioner Rajabra, Aji Outgoing Commissioner of Police Rodihu Tetso, IPS Aro Alak Jada Officers, Jadila Jamir, DCB Traffic Nalim Mustafa, DCB Dimapur Parat Laksman Margat, DCB Crime Aro T. Yenrenunguli, ADCB CMP Ge Farewell Dishe, Commissioner of Police, Dimapur Conference Hall Day. Center of Program Day, Outgoing Commissioner of Police, Rodihu Tetsobra, Kushiki Alak Alak Civil Organizations, Media Fraternity Administration, Aru Police Officers Kanlaha, Pal Cooperation Immediate, Dimapur Day, Law and Order to Maintain Gurubule Parishi Goigina. I must express our, my gratitude and my thankfulness to especially to this unit, my subordinate officers, minister staff, all the personnel, and my DGP and all my senior officers, in that way, even the, our home department, for giving us this opportunity and uh, uh, to be as a CP. And then uh, during this uh, three years tenure, because of the good cooperation and selfless dedication, rendered uh, your service, rendered by the, our officers, we could achieve a small uh, division, a small percent. Without them, we cannot achieve anything. And I always say this, police, it is a team work. And I don't believe in the administration and police. I don't believe the individual championship. I don't want to be the individual champion. Because in the law and order, if any officer is trying to be individual champion, if you, you aim for the individual champion, then it, you will be a failure. So anywhere I go, I always say that the police is a teamwork, administration is a teamwork. Even if you are too good, if you are alone, so what? Your goodness will be a liability for the society. Your knowledge will be a liability for the society. So even you may not be very smart, you may not be very good, may not be very efficient, but if we combine, then it is this a, a teamwork can overcome. So the, this is a very important. And then the trust, the trust that is a very important. This, uh, our tenure during this, uh, we have a good uh, this relation and trust each other with the NGOs, the media administration and all, all the, uh, our commissioner team here. That is how, though we could not achieve, at least we have not had the situation for the democracy. That is, so that was our best, if we fail in something, and I, I want to say sorry to the, even the, all the member present here, if some of them, some of the citizens became the victim of the police in action during my tenure, as a commissioner of police, as the head of this unit, that responsibility, I'm responsible, so I'm sorry. If any citizen became the victim of the police, in action. But lastly, I want to uh, congratulate all the new team who are coming here, and some of them they have joined. So we want to congratulate all of you, and we want to wish you all the best. We are all going, the outgoing officer, we are all going with a better posting, I think. We have here in this uh, commissioner system, we have uh, 40 gazetted officers. Now inspectors and above all the gazetted. So we have uh, 40, uh, this is uh, 40 gazetted officers here. Yesterday in the church I was saying 35, but then I forgot to, I mean, uh, count uh, this uh, MTO and all those. So if all the gazetted officers, if we have to come, we have uh, 40 gazetted officers here in the, under this uh, commissioner system. It is like a mini PHQ. It is, the officers are more than the PHQ staff. So when government has put this much officer, I think we also should not uh, uh, mean, uh, be casual, and our citizens should not uh, suffer face problem because of our inaction, because of our luxury, because of our casualness. So as a policeman, we also should, as the government has put a trust on us, we also should do something for our society. And this election, I want also to appeal the new team that we have to prove that this uh, police team, a uh, commissioner system, working closely and uh, 
cordially with the, our administrative team. We should prove that uh, there is no ripple. There is no ripple in the these three districts. So that people will also realize that the Dimapur situation is also improving. Why people think that the Dimapur is bad, Dimapur BSA, Dimapur BSA, people. This is all they do. Those who are staying here, those who are living here, we are all saying like that. Other districts, they are not saying like that. But those who are already here, we are doing that, Takakam, or the officers posting, even the uh, citizens also. If you say like this, then it do all do now. We should have a positive attitude. Dimapur is not so bad. May not be very good, but it's not so bad. And this problem can be overcome only when this uh, administration, police, the NGOs, the media, or the churches, all the citizens living in, under, uh, in this three districts, if we can work together, it's a small city only. It's less than one colony in, in, the, in the mainland. So I think it's not so difficult. It may not be very easy, but it's not impossible. Thing. This law and order can be controlled. So uh, lastly, I want to, once again, I want to appeal all of you to work together once again, and I want to again, uh, uh, as you have given a good cooperation to, during our tenure, I want to appeal to the, our uh, NGOs, and civil societies, our media, our administration, that uh, please continue to give the same cooperation to the new team also. The most beautiful part was, I, as a DCP crime, as a nodal officer, uh, almost on daily basis or weekly basis, I was uh, coordinating with the police from the rest of the country, be it Delhi, Haryana, Maharashtra. And one thing I noticed, when, whenever I used to visit the officers from other states, the more and more I used to interact with them, more and more I used to see their paperwork. More and more my appreciation for Nagaland Police Group. I find, I think our officers are second to none. And in most of the cases, I think our officers' investigative skills, their professionalism is much better than many other places and many other states where we, we see, we think that they are doing good. I think uh, we are not blowing our own trumpet. But yeah, I think uh, wherever due credit needs to be given, I think our uh, all the staffs, all the police stations, and all the men in the ground, they have done a good job. Now, um, since our civil society leaders are here, uh, I know there is a long list of speakers, so I'll, I'll speak briefly. Uh, but I think whenever, if development has to come to any place, the prerequisite is law and order, the peace. We have seen in the, this country, uh, we have seen the um, very prosperous, naturally gifted parts of this country where there is no law and order. They are doing very, uh, I think they are not doing that good uh, when global, uh, any GDP and global uh, any, uh, gross happiness index is concerned. So if Nagaland also has to progress, I think we need respect for law. And of course, there is a uh, counterpart to it. As a law keepers, we also need to uh, you know, be responsible and be professional. So I think it's a two-way journey. Uh, I think uh, we may have a lot of mistrust or trust issues, I should say. But uh, there is no other way if you want to go ahead. Uh, we have to breach and we have to come uh, somewhere in middle and you know, we have to have respect for law. The due process should take its course. Unless until that happens, I, I, I don't think there is any future ahead. So uh, that was in brief. Uh, I read somewhere, Wisdom is nothing but knowledge distilled is a wisdom. And you know, you can gain knowledge and information from wherever you want. But wisdom is something very hard to come by. And I was very fortunate with our commissioner of police being in Dimapur with his vast experience uh, in law and order or with uh, VIP security or many other fields. Uh, this wisdom was readily available to us. And I'm sure uh, I learned many things and which actually uh, even inspired me to be even more professionally competent in coming days. So uh, thank you, sir, for always guiding me. I will not talk much because he's again going to be my DIG range. So I will, <laughs> I don't want to utter any <laughs> words for that. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, our friend DC Dimapur has come recently, but we had very cordial relation. And uh, during short tenure, we, uh, I think worked very well. There were no major law and order issues. 
and he has al already said that we will be available on the phone call provided we got good network in interior district. But yeah, uh, looking forward to be in touch with all of you. Uh, one, my, one of my duty was PRO of this unit and the one challenge which my predecessor were not having is that we had print media but in, during my tenure we, has, we saw growth of electronic media and it's quite demanding. Of course, we might have a love and hate relationship sometimes, uh, but can't help it, that's how it is. Uh, but one thing I should say, unless and until we have independent, bold and courageous media, I think no dem democracy can actually progress and prosper. Uh, as media is considered as fourth pillar of democracy, uh, I wish with every coming day you become more professional, uh, you uh, cover the stories independently and biasedly, of course, we will get sometimes blamed, but it's okay. We know policing is a thankless job and uh, can't help it. Our officers, they already knew when they joined the service. But one thing I, I like, uh, they, they say in the Matthew chapter 5, verse 9, uh, blessed are the peacekeepers, for they, sh they will be called children of God. So we are doing a job which no one else wants to do, and we are proud of it. And I think we have to be more professional and responsible in coming days so that our services uh, reach to the needy ones. This Dimapur Police Commissioner, just as, as I told, that I learned my basics of policing from here and I owe my uh, significant part of policing career and I owe my knowledge to this Police Commissioner. It will always be, always remain in my heart. And I wish all the officers now who are present here in Dimapur Police Commissioner best of luck, my best wishes and with God's grace, I pray that these elections you will do wonderfully and uh, Dimapur, everyone here in Dimapur, uh, it, they will remain in my heart and this Dimapur Police Commissioner will always be in I my just mind. want to thank all the officers of the Commissioner present here for supporting me, cooperating with me through my uh, four years tenure here. And I especially want to thank our city sir for trusting me, not interfering, but always giving sound advice whenever required. Mm. I have experienced uh, ups and downs and some unique experience also. Like, I'll never forget the rock slides in the Bakla Bahar, nor like the construction of this four lane. Every time the road sings, my heart also sings. But like, it was due to the support of my traffic officers, my SCPs, my OCs, and all the traffic personnel working as a team. We could manage and somehow we could pull through. Uh, to the young officers, I want to just say this. Uh, be hands-on with your work. Just don't delegate your work to your lower ranks and forget about it. But like, it's very satisfying, help each other, work together, it's very satisfying and it makes a lot of difference. During my short stay, I'm very grateful to CP sir and all the senior officers for your continuous support and guidance and at the same time, my uh, subordinated officer for your cooperation, which uh, I would always uh, cherish. And uh, since the Mabur is a uh, place where Everyone wants to be here. I would also encourage those officers and friends who will be staying back to give your best so that where, when we get transferred to another districts, we may be a doorspear for the department where you know the, the officers, friends from the other districts may always look up to us for guidance.